Uh, all of our fabulous panelists want to weigh in on whether or not there should have been an election in the first place. Uh, so let me start with former Conservative interim leader Rana Ambrose. Great to have you back with us. It feels like just yesterday, doesn't it, Rana? It does. We were sitting here at this desk. Much smaller <laughs> desk. But anyway, your view on uh, the call itself. Yeah, I don't think the Prime Minister should have called an election. Evan mentioned it. This is the crisis of a generation. What concerns me the most is just the level of cynicism, mistrust, and just erosion of our democracy. To have an election in the middle of a pandemic, we should have been, and, and to weaponize the issue of vaccine passports and vaccines. I mean, what happened during this election is what happens in elections. There's misinformation, there's, there's, there's conflict. And what this election did is just exacerbate that. And now we have the rise of a populist party the People's Party of Canada, who are doing exactly that, weaponizing the issue of mask wearing, of vaccines, and that is to the detriment of the entire country. So I, 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 I wish the Prime Minister would have never called this election. Mm. And on that, I'm going to ask Jody Wilson-Raybould to join us uh, on this debate, this question. Obviously, an independent MP not running, former Attorney General or, or former uh, Minister of Justice. And Jody, thanks for being with us tonight. I know that. Um, you've been very vocal, obviously. You even wrote a book about this. So I want to get your sense then on, you know, as the party now tonight waits to see its fate on whether it can achieve the majority that it called the election for in the first place. Well, I, I, um, I agree a lot with what, with what Rana said in terms of, of going into an election during a pandemic. I believe it was fundamentally unnecessary. Parliament was functioning in terms of support for Canadians, in terms of passing of, of major pieces of legislation to assist. Um, this is a gamble. This is a gamble with Justin Trudeau, and, and we'll see um, how Canadians respond to him and this unnecessary election. Certainly what I've been hearing is, is there's so many uh, people that are wondering who they vote for. There's no rallying cry around a particular issue. There's just frustration and anger of actually having to go to the polls at all. Well,